the world because it demands civil rights, economic rights, and the freedom from oppression. Today, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s view is still alive. The people of today is upholding his dream of being united, promoting nonviolence and social justice, and overcoming racism. Although, mm -mm, there are still some people who do not think racism will ever end. People of today are joining in rallies, protesting and marching with other people of colors, race, age, and creeds in support of Black Lives Matter to stop racist killings of innocent black people like Trayvon Martin, a black Florida teenager who was shot dead by a neighborhood watch volunteer in 2012 after going to the store to get his little brother back his skills. Philando Castell was shot dead by police on July 16, 2015, after he was just reaching for his permanent ID to prove he had a permit to carry a concealed weapon. Oh, 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 oh. oh and just like the death of Terrence Crutcher, a father of four who was heading home from a music appreciation class from Tulsa Community College when his SUV broke down the middle of the road. A female police officer shot and killed him with his hands in the air on September 16, 2016 because she said, he looked like a bad dude. <laughs> in Hosea chapter 1 verse 7 states, but I will show mercy to the nation of Judah. I will save them, but I will not use bows or swords, or war horses and soldiers to save them. I will save them by my own power. Through my understanding of that verse, it could possibly be related to Dr. King because he had to have a positive demeanor for others to follow him and unite all people of colors. Look how far we have come since the death of this great man. Now, whenever I defend my dream of us all being united and being accepted for who we are, I promote nonviolence, social justice, and have a positive behavior. Because I believe one does what is within one's heart.